So the darker your skin, the more you are protected against skin cancer, specifically the melanoma type cancer, which is responsible for the majority of skin cancer. Now in this video, I'm gonna get into the why, but also some additional information I wanna introduce you to, which is quite fascinating and beneficial to your long-term health. Now, what is it about the skin color that protects you against skin cancer? It has to do with a pigment called melanin. And melanin is a pigment in your skin that protects you against radiation from the sun, a, a very specific type of radiation called ultraviolet radiation, specifically ultraviolet B type radiation. And it also protects you against oxidative stress as well as free radical damage. So if we compare dark skin to light skin, uh, we're looking at an average between 43% melanin down to 1.3% melanin. And there are various races that have virtually no melanin. So what happens when they go into the sun and they expose themselves to UV radiation, which has a tendency to stimulate more melanin, they can't do it. So they can't get a tan. So they just burn. And they're at a very high risk of getting melanomas. Now, if we take a look at an albino, they're at a thousand times more risk of getting melanomas. So someone that has darker skin has more melanin, and you can look at melanin as a, kind of a sunscreen. It's equivalent to the SPF 13 sunscreen. One thing that's interesting about the UV uh, radiation is that it degrades um, folate, which is a B vitamin. And folate is necessary to protect you against DNA damage. It does a lot of other things, but folate, which by the way, is in leafy green vegetables, is degraded by UV radiation. So the more melanin you have in your skin, the less you're gonna be able to break down folate if you're exposed to UV radiation. Now let's take a look at the rate of getting melanomas for different uh, skin colors. So this is the rate of developing melanomas uh, per 100,000 people for males. The data for females is quite similar. It's not exact. And this is just in the US. But people that have white skin have a 31.4% rate per 100,000 of getting melanomas. And if you're an American Indian slash Alaska native, you have a rate of 7.1%. If you're Hispanic, it's 5%. If you're of an Asian descent or Pacific Islander, it's 1.5%. And if you're black, it's a 1.1% rate. So as you can see, it's very, very dramatic. The more melanin you have in your skin, the more you're protected. So that's really cool. The problem is that we make our vitamin D from UV radiation, specifically UVB radiation. So as we block this radiation from the sun, we also block our ability to make vitamin D in the skin. So depending on how dark your skin is, you can also have a much less ability to produce vitamin D by a factor between two to five times. So a person with very dark skin uh, may need five times more vitamin D because of this melanin filter. Now, what's the significance of vitamin D? I have many videos on vitamin D. If you're deficient in vitamin D, it increases dramatically um, your risk of getting high blood pressure, okay? So vitamin D is a great remedy for high blood pressure, FYI. If you're deficient in vitamin D, your tendency to have low back pain and other types of pain and arthritis and inflammation goes dramatically up. If you're deficient in vitamin D, your immune system goes down. You're more susceptible to getting viruses and bacterial infections and also recovering from those infections. If you're deficient in vitamin D, your risk for getting diabetes goes up. So that's some important data to know. Now, I wanted to take this time to introduce you to a very important uh, subject, which I've done in another video and you may have not seen it. So I, I think it's appropriate to talk about that because it, it has everything to do with wavelength from the sun. So you have various energy wavelengths from the sun. On the left of the scale, you have UV radiation, okay? It's a certain type of energy. And then in the middle of the spectrum, you have visible light. And then on the right side of the spectrum, you have what's called infrared um, waves or energy, okay? And so the UV uh, portion 
really is only about 7% of this spectrum. The visible light is about 39%, but the infrared portion is responsible for 54% of this spectrum. So when you're on the sun, you're getting a tremendous amount of infrared, which does a lot of different things. The specific type of infrared uh, energy I wanna talk about is the near infrared, NIR. Near infrared radiation is extremely therapeutic. Uh, they use it to help treat dementia. They use it to help treat skin disorders like psoriasis, eczema, many different types of skin disorders, including melanomas. Near infrared is very reparative uh, for your body. It's a protective energy against ultraviolet radiation. So nature has provided us with a protective mechanism. And this is probably also why we have vitamin D that's produced by UV radiation. It's a natural protective mechanism against cancer. So people that don't have the melanin um, receive more vitamin D as a protective mechanism. In addition, they can also be receiving the near infrared uh, wavelengths to help protect them. You probably know about melatonin as being a sleep hormone, um, melatonin produced by the pineal, but there's a, another type of melatonin that you need to know about, and that is melatonin that is subcellular. In other words, it's a type of melatonin that works in your mitochondria in the cells. And this type of melatonin is not necessarily just about helping you sleep. It's about providing its power as an antioxidant. Melatonin is the most powerful antioxidant in your body because in the mitochondria, uh, this is where all the energy is generated, okay? ATP, that's the energy currency of the body. And so it creates a lot of heat and oxidation and especially free radical damage. And so our body has developed a cooling system, like a radiator, just like you would have in your car to help cool down this heat and protect you against all this free radical damage. And that cooling system is melatonin. So melatonin is there to help buffer all this oxidation and free radical damage that we generate through the day from the sun, from the pollution, from this or that. And then at night when we're sleeping, it also works to help repair all the damage that occurred from the day. This is why if you don't sleep, you wake up feeling like you haven't really repaired because your body's circadian waves with the melatonin hasn't had a chance to repair all this damage. Now, the cool thing about melatonin that's stimulated by this type of infrared uh, wavelength is that it's not only triggered by sunlight, but also by fire, like by sitting around a campfire, by sitting in front of your fireplace, uh, by being exposed to uh, infrared lights, which is now becoming very popular in saunas, in different types of light therapy. But you can even get some near infrared energy from the moon. Now, the problem is we're exposed to LED lights all day long and many different artificial lights that don't give us any infrared energy. I mean, in the 1800s, okay, when they had sanitariums, which basically was like sunlight therapy, as well as all the exposure to campfires. And, and then when we got into incandescent lights, which also gave us this infrared, we had a tremendous amount of infrared exposure. Uh, presently, we have a very tiny amount of infrared exposure, if any, because we're inside all day. We're not sitting in front of campfires. We're not going outside. We're being bathed in artificial lights. All of our electrical devices and smartphones and uh, computers have this blue light, which is zero infrared. So we just don't make the melatonin to protect us against like UV radiation. So now we're more at risk for getting skin cancer. So there's a couple of takeaways from this video that I think are very, very important. The darker the skin, the more vitamin D you need. Now you can either take that as a supplement or just get more sun, okay? Like dramatically more sun. That's one thing. Number two, the lighter your skin and the more you're out in the sun, the more you need to get folate, okay? From leafy greens. And also realize this, uh, the peak time 
for UV radiation is between 10 in the morning and two in the afternoon. But the protective infrared spectrum goes from sunrise to sunset, and even when there's light from the moon. So if you expose yourself to more of the full spectrum, and maybe not just in the middle of the day, you can get more infrared and less UV radiation. Now, this is a very important topic, and there's a lot more to this subject. So if you have not seen my recent video on melatonin, I put it up right here. Check it out.